Charlotte now looked with new eyes at the companionship offered by her father's curate. I could no longer maintain my opposition to the match. If truth be told, I thought she deserved better than a poor country person like her father. I am still very calm, very inexpectant. What I taste of happiness is of the soberest order. I trust that I will love my husband. I am grateful for his tender love for me. I believe him to be an affectionate and high-principled man. Providence offers me this destiny. Doubtless, then, it is best for me. I have written a letter to my aunt. Oh, yes. I, um... I thought we might visit my family after the wedding. As you wish, Arthur. Patrick claimed he felt too unwell to attend her wedding. So, with none of her family present, it was, as with her heroine Jane Eyre, a simple ceremony. Rita, I married him. A quiet wedding we had. My husband has been described as a consistent Christian and a kind gentleman. To merit and win such a character is better than to earn wealth or fame or power. Finding new pleasure as a country parson's wife, Charlotte willingly put aside her writing. In the Royal Gallery of France resembled greatly those of which he had tired. What's wrong, my dear? It's nothing, love. Oh. I'm just tired. It's, it's not the damn fuss. Go on reading. <clears throat> uh, presently, as if to convince himself he had now belonged not to the cell but to the world. Well, would you believe it? Miss Charlotte was going to have a baby. He was all so excited. I started looking in the cellar for their old cradle. Oh, parson. I was as pleased as Punch. When she started to get sick, we all thought it would pass. She couldn't hold anything down, though. Not even broth or wheat tea. My sufferings are very great. My night's indescribable sickness with scarce a reprieve. As to my husband, my heart is knit to him. He is so tender, so good. Helpful, patient. I'm not going to die, am I? He wouldn't separate us. Not when we've been so happy. Hush. <coughs> Charlotte had escaped consumption, but chronic morning sickness brought on by pregnancy was now wasting her away. I have ceased to hope against hope. I had seen so many of my family removed to that place where hope and fear fluctuate no more. O oh, Father of mercies and God of all comfort, our only help in time of need, we fly unto thee for succor on behalf of this, thy servant here. Lying under thy hand in great weakness of body. Look graciously at all, O Lord. At Charlotte's funeral, the church and the churchyard were crowded. 
Tributes poured in from those who had known her and those who had read and loved her books. The revered poet Matthew Arnold wrote a poem in her honor, which her father would treasure for the rest of his life. It's true with roses the grave of the early dying, alas. Early she goes on the path to the silent country and leaves half her laurels on one, dying to say. It green laurels she had, and a course short, but redoubled by fame. 